VMware Site Recovery Manager is a valuable tool when used with Google Cloud VMware Engine. I'm Darren Schmitz with VMware, and in this video series, I'm going to show the configuration, operation, and use cases for VMware Site Recovery Manager used between two regions. The primary benefits with Site Recovery Manager is that it allows customers to protect workloads as well as gracefully migrate them between sites. Also keep in mind that this functionality can easily be extended to include a data center on-premises. Let's get started. The first step in configuring Site Recovery Manager is downloading both the replication and SRM appliance installation ISOs from VMware's Customer Connect website. Administrators will find it helpful to download the ISOs to a management VM already in the environment for a quicker deployment. Once the ISOs are mounted by the operating system, the vSphere Replication and Site Recovery Manager virtual machines need to be deployed to both sites using the OVF template deployment wizard. For the sake of time, the Replication and SRM virtual machines have been previously deployed into my US Central One private cloud instance. In addition, Windows Serve 001 is the management virtual machine in the environment that is being used for administrative tasks. All of the infrastructure-related VMs are placed into the management resource group to help avoid any resource contention with the workload VMs. Below the Windows machines is the workload resource group, which contains all the example virtual machines being used in this demo to simulate our production workload. Switching over to the networking view, another prerequisite is configuring the proper networking. In this example, the management network is being used for the Windows administrative VMs and the workload network is dedicated for the application workload machines. When I switch to the vCenter client for the second data center, all the necessary virtual appliances needed for replication and SRM have also been deployed and are ready for initial configuration. Finally, the last step needed to prepare the environment is to configure the vCenter solution user accounts. The Google Cloud VMware Engine Solution accounts are pre-created accounts in vCenter that are granted the elevated privileges needed for SRM to operate. To begin this process, the Cloud Owner account privileges need to be elevated from the Google Cloud VMware Engine web interface. This is done by drilling down into the Private Cloud Resources section and clicking the Elevate link. From this screen, select the time interval that is required for the elevated privileges. Usually, an hour or two will suffice. Then click the I Understand box to acknowledge the warning before clicking on the Confirm button. Once the privilege elevation has started, it may take a few moments for the operation to fully complete. However, once the elevation process is done, a second notification will appear. The Cloud Owner account can now modify user accounts, but must first be logged out and back in from the vCenter user interface to be granted those new rights. Once logged back in, we need to navigate to the Administration Users and Groups, where the gve.local domain is selected to reveal the Solution User accounts. In this example, the Solution User 01 account will be given a new password so that it can be used as the service account. It is important to remember that this same process needs to be completed for both sites. Now that the appliance setup and Solution User Account configuration is complete, the vCenter registration process and site pairing is next. Check out the next video in the series to learn how. To learn more about Google Cloud VMware Engine, visit our site at cloud.google.com slash vmware-engine.